we are underway. And it's Fiji who get us started. And it'll be Willem Abingo who wore the captain's armband in the first match. Student at Harvard in America. And a penalty is awarded early. Well, Louis Toomey was back to goal. It's Nabil Big of Fiji. He was a player of the match, Mustaib, against the Solomon Islands. And he turned himself into a hero inside the first three minutes of this game. Up steps Bidois. And it's through Mustaib. He got a good piece of it to the Fijian goalkeeper, but not able to keep it out. And New Zealand take a fourth minute lead, Henry. Yes, exactly, Seamus. I think um, that's not probably not the start that Fiji wanted, but that is definitely what a start that New Zealand needed. Near yeah, their training, near yeah, their accommodation at the OFC Academy at Mount Smart Stadium Precinct. Here's Jesse Randall. Just looking to clip it for Bidwa, and he's got a touch on that, and he's diverted it past Mustaib, has he? Yes. It's a goal. Well, it's a clever header from Riley Bidwa. Just craned his neck and cushioned it past Mustaib. It'll make for compelling viewing on the replay, Henry. Yes, exactly the same. It's just a great, um, great play again from New Zealand, switching from one end to another. That was a great interchange play as well, and great vision from um, Randall here to see um, Bidwa's run. And again, like you said, it's a great instinct finish from a striker. Doesn't need a touch, you just need one touch, that's it. And great finish again. Yeah, I agree, um, same as I think. Um, that's the only thing we talked about as well for Fiji. When they regain possession, they need to probably combine a bit more as we go here. Well, Randall's in on goal here. Squares it across, it's Bidwa, and it's a hat trick for the New Zealand number nine. Well, it was a longer pass over the top. The pace of Randall opened them up. Presence of mind to square it across for Bidwa. And he slid it home, Henry. Yes. Let's have a look again. Again, this great running again, like we see against Vanuatu as well. He does the same runs. And again, great um, interchange play there as well. Bidwa read him well as well. Ready for the cut back. And they've made a big step towards Harris 2024. Here's a bingo. What can he conjure up? It's a cross in. Toomey cranes his header as well. It was well done by Toomey. And we've got a second penalty. And Mohammed Rahim is in trouble here. It's a second yellow. And two yellows equal red. Randall sends Mustaib the wrong way. New Zealand go 4 0 ahead. Let's look at the penalty again. Jesse Randall with a bit of stutter there. And yeah, quality finish there from a, from a quality player as well. Corners to New Zealand. He's the number 15, just in the center of the penalty area. Bingo Zing swinging delivery. It's cleared off the line from Nabil Big. It's cleared off the line again. Well, Fiji do well to repel the New Zealand attacks there. Putting bodies on the line. It's headed down to the Bidwa, and he slots home. Great touch to bring it under control, and the finish was sublime. It's four goals for Riley Bidwa, Henry. Yes, let's have a look at the, the goal here. again. A few opportunities beforehand before the goal was scored, but desperate defending from uh, Fiji there and Gillian there. Everyone was watching, ball watching, and Gillian just went far post. That's a great layback there as well from the big man, and strikers finish. One touch, bang. That's half time here at North Harbour Stadium where the story is New Zealand 5, Fiji 0. Great news if you're a Kiwi football fan. It's Gillian. And it's in the back of the net from Liam Gillian. Over the wall and nestled in the corner of the goal. Well, it's very difficult that close to the goal to be able to get it up and over. But it's ended up. It's the sixth goal for New Zealand today, Henry. It's a bingo's corner. And it's headed in from Bidwa. That's his fifth of the day, Riley Bidwa. Unchallenged. Well, that was the easiest of finishes for Riley Bidwa. Yeah, let's have a look at the finish again. Great delivery. Well, mine marked there, unmarked there as well. So you just, you just got to have to question the, 
the Fijian backline there with the markers. Well, 20 minutes to play here. 20 minutes for Fiji to try and maybe craft a consolation goal. They'll definitely want to hold New Zealand out. And had him. It's a good save. Mustaib got a big chunk of that to the Fijian goalkeeper. Razul not able to keep that under control and position turned back over to New Zealand. Here's Jesse Randall. He's got Van Haddam right on the far side unmarked. Skips around Jesse Randall and it's ended up deflecting into the Fijian goal. Well, it's added misery to the Fijian cause. A wry smile from Aidan Mustaib. I'm not sure what else he can do in that situation. Some of their more experienced players. But an opportunity here for these talented youngsters to try and force their way into the senior national side. New Zealand will be in action in October in the FIFA window. They will travel to London to take on the old foes from across the ditch. The Socceroos of Australia. And there's a goal. A glance across at the assistant referee for Keegan Kelly. But it's all smiles for the young striker. New Zealand have been using their numerical advantage so well, using the width a lot. As you can see here, um, Joe Lee cutting in from the wide area. Just a, just a deflected pass into the, into the goal there. There is the final whistle. And New Zealand qualify for the Olympic football tournament, Paris 2024. A one-sided affair in the final. It's New Zealand 9, Fiji 0. Well, Darren, congratulations. The match you got on top and never took your foot off the throat. Yeah, I thought the boys were very good, you know, very clinical. Uh, we must be really hard to play against. We've got a lot of pace, a lot of good footballers. You know, we're solid, attacking shapes really good. You know, uh, yeah. we lose the ball, we win it back really quickly. So I thought the boys played really, really well, you know, and went out first half. We said to them, go start the game really strong, be positive, you know, and they went out and, and did exactly that and very good. Were you surprised by the size of the victory? Uh, I mean, not... Not necessarily, because we, you know, we've left a lot of goals on the pitch every game we've played. You know, the first game and even the Vanuatu game. You know, they, they, these guys are so attack-minded. You know, they've created so many chances. You know, in, in all three games. Uh, you know, and and today they started going in a little bit, especially early on. So, yeah, I mean, you don't expect to win by that score, but I think we're always capable of scoring goals. And looking ahead now, Paris 2024, it's a nice competition, nice destination to be looking forward yeah. to. Yes, no, it's really cool. You know, the Olympics will be uh, is a big reward for the boys, you know, and, you know, it'll be another great tournament to be part of. Well, congratulations, a great tournament for New Zealand and yourself. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really proud. The staff have been awesome, but the players have been great as well.